In this video, we will learn how to install the MongoDB Enterprise Edition on the Ubuntu 16 long-term support edition of the server. We will then create a new user admin account that will manage users and roles. We will then require and enable authentication, and then we will create a new user that will be able to read and write on a custom database like a video database. So in this example, I'm actually running the Ubuntu 16.04.4 long-term server on the VirtualBox environment. And then what I need to make sure I do is I log in through SSH. So at the moment, I'm using Visual Studio VS Code environment. And then I'm going to remote access in right now, which I've done clear and easy. Then I'm going to reference these two sites the install MongoDB Enterprise Edition page and then the authentication page. So the first thing we want to do on the page, we're going to be installing 3.4 by the way, just so you know, is we want to scroll down to number one, click the word copy, switch back to our editor, paste that into our server, provide our user password, switch on back to our page, and then make sure you copy the correct edition of your Ubuntu environment. I'm on 16. Switch on back. Go ahead and run the sudo apt-get update. Wait for that to finish installing. And then you're going to want to run step four, which is installing the MongoDB Enterprise Edition. So go ahead and copy that. Come on back. If yours is finished, go ahead and run the command or wait for it to finish. Paste in, press enter, run through the installation, wait for the installation to install, and then we're going to jump over and create a new user for our MongoDB Enterprise environment. But first, let's make sure we actually start the server up. Okay, cool. MongoDB Enterprise Edition has been installed. Let's go ahead and let's clear this out. Let's make sure that the server is actually up and running or can run. So type sudo systemctl start mongod. If uh, you didn't get any errors, that means it's up and running. But to confirm that, if we type sudo systemctl status mongod, It'll give us an output and telling us if you've got a green dot here, it'll tell you that it's active and running. And then finally, we want to run the command sudo system ctl enable mongod, which will make it so that anytime we restart our server, mongod will start up as well. Excellent. So let's go ahead. And let's restart our service. Go ahead and type the following. sudo service mongod restart. Everything's working good. Let's clear that out. Now type mongo, and this will open up the mongodb shell environment. Once in the shell environment, go ahead and type the word show dbs, or dbs. Then type use admin. I'm going to type cls, which clears out the information. And then if I type DB, it lets me know that I'm using the admin database. Next, we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a new user called admin dev. Type DB, which means the current database you've selected, dot create user. Then press enter. The three dots means that the method is not done yet. So type an open curly brace, then type user admin dev pwd, which means password. And then I'm going to do something simple like admin dev1 for this example. Then type roles open, so it's an array type, so it's an open square bracket with an object open curly brace, the word role followed by, in double quotes, user admin any 
database, comma, and then db admin. And then close with a curly brace, close with a square bracket, close with a curly brace again, and then go ahead and close with the cl uh, ending parenthesis and semicolon. So that'll create us a new user with the privileges to manage any user and any role, and then you can access that information from the database admin. Next, go ahead and type exit. Now, we need to require authentication. So let's clear this out and then type the word sudo and you can do nano or vim. I'm going to run vim forward slash etc mongod.config. Now the file will open up. I want you to scroll on down to the word security. Press the I key. Press enter. I means edit. And then type security again colon, space, space, and then follow it up with the words author or authorization enabled. Then press the escape key, the colon key, the W key, and the Q key, which means write and quit. Now go ahead and restart MongoD. So that's sudo systemctl restart MongoD and then go ahead and check out the status. Everything seems to be working, excellent. So now, if we type Mongo to go into the shell environment, and then we type something like show DBS, notice we get an error. That means authentication is required, so you must provide a user account with a username and a password. So we exit out of that. Let's clear out our information. Next, let's go ahead and let's log in as the admin we just created. So you're going to type mongo space dash dash port 27017. You kind of don't need that port statement, but it's still good to have in there. Dash u for user. In double quotes, your username and then dash p and then in double quotes, your password and then space dash dash authentication database space admin. Press enter, you're logged in. Now if we say show DBS, we get an output. Excellent. Finally, with, these, with this user, we can create other users and give them privileges. So let's go ahead and let's create a new user and a database. So we're going to say use video. Now if we say show DBS, you're like, wait, didn't show. Don't worry about it. Say use video DB, we're in video. Next, what you want to do is let's create a user. So we're going to again say db.create user, open curly brace, user, and then for this user, I'm going to call it node user, comma, pwd node user one again yes generic for an example intentionally roles open square brace open curly brace roll and then in double quotes read write which will give them read write access to whatever database we're going to define next comma db so you have read write access on the video database. End curly brace, end square bracket, end curly brace, end parenthesis, semicolon. Perfect, excellent. So let's go ahead and let's exit out of this. Now let's clear this out so we can see it. Let's type mongo port 2707 with the node user this time and node user one. And then for the end at this moment, we don't want to type admin. We want to, we want to authenticate video database. We've logged in. So if we say show DBs, it's like, what are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. So if we say video, use video, 
says, okay, it sounds good. Let's actually run something. So at the top here, I've gone ahead and created something so you could see it. We're going to create a new collection of called movies and we're going to insert one document in the collection. Now, if we say show DBs, you're like, we're still getting an error. Yeah, of course we are. Why? Because we're only able to access that one DB. But if we say DB and then we say show collections, we get movies. And then if we say, if we say DB, DB dot movies dot find dot pretty, we can see that our object has been inserted with a custom object ID. Perfect. Excellent. Now you know how to do this. I'm going to exit out of this, exit out of the server, clear everything out. I hope this helps.